KN value analysis or cross curves of stability are used in the early stage of design uh, with an estimated VCG to predict the stability of the vessel. K is the point on the keel at the base of the vessel and N is the perpendicular distance out to the line between the metacentric height and the uh, centre of buoyancy in the healed condition. KN is proportional to GZ because of the similar triangles in this diagram. So it's a useful way to get a variable which can be used to easily calculate GZ at any displacement and angle of heel. Let's switch over to Hydromax and take a look at how we can run this analysis. First we choose KN values from the analysis mode drop down and then from the analysis menu we can see that there are three menu items which are highlighted for KN analysis. We carry out the analysis at a range of heels and a range of displacements and so we set each of those in turn. I'm going to set my heel from 0 to 90 degrees in 10 degree increments. For the trim on this analysis I'm just going to use a fixed trim and for the range of displacements I'm going to use an initial displacement of 65,000 kilos, a final displacement of 75,000 and my 11 displacement increments will give me a 1 ton increment. When I run my analysis what we'll see is that the vessel is sunk down to the prescribed displacement and then rotated through the defined angles of heel at each of those different displacements. So the KN values are computed for each of those different conditions. You can see the numbers in the bottom left hand corner of the window showing us the different values. If we switch over to the results window we can see we have a, ro a row per displacement and then a number of columns. First of all some common properties for each displacement and then if we scroll across a little we can see the results for each angle of heel are tabulated and these are our KN values at that particular displacement and angle of heel. The usual way to review them is as our uh, graph of cross curves and so what we see here is a graph for each angle of heel where as we move along the graph that corresponds to an increasing displacement and we can see how KN changes with that change of displacement and with the different angles of heel. Like all the graphs we can turn on a legend there just to cross color code with uh, our results. That concludes a summary of our KN cross curves analysis. Thank you for watching.